everybody welcome back again for our next tutorial where we are going to go ahead and create the Edison light bulb one of the models that was created from its original inventor so now uh, we are using sphere here as a bar as a, as a primitive from where we can go ahead and start modeling the whole bulb. Now I'm selecting the top just single vertice and then I'm just converting it to the poly and I'm deleting the upper part. So we can create the opening for our bulb. Simple techniques if followed properly they would yield the great results in the end As you can see, I just modeled according from the front. I didn't see what I was doing, so I just have to go ahead and redo the entire thing, even though it's not that much, and proceed with the modeling and extruding the edges, just like in our pre previous tutorials. We did the same thing. Edge extrusion is a simple technique, and uh, if it's kept simple, it's gonna yield the great results. So as you can see, I'm not doing nothing complicated as I would do in some other models. Just following the curve slight modifications changing the color of the wire not the object even though the object appears grayish that is the wire's color and I'm adding some thickness some shell with shell modifier and I'm adding turbo smooth and see our results looks nice now we'll proceed with modeling the upper part of the model and in the end of our tutorials we will cover up uh, the texturing of the lamp with advanced techniques where we are going to go ahead and use Photoshop extensively. I'm just positioning the cylinder in the center of the bulb and uh, now just I'm trying to position it according to the reference image as you can see because the bulb itself, the model in the picture is not that perfect. It has a lot of imperfections because back then they used to create those lights uh, on a factory with a molten glass and each and one of them was modeled ha by hand I'll select the edges here add one loop and ex just extrude it outwardly a little bit so we can get that bevel shape the bevel bottom of this model now just extrude this selection of the edge will create that inset that we see on the picture one more time this time keeping the geometry fairly low simple we just extrude of the face now we'll extrude one more time and probably a couple of times until we are satisfied with the reference image that we use as a guideline. Now one more time, one more edge and then all the way up in the end. So uh, if you follow the tutorial, tutorials properly you can end up 
and you sh will surely end up with a good looking model that you can use on your other scenes when you try to create a interior visualization for your next project as you can see I'm just going slowly step by step and in the, in the next tutorials we'll cover up the creation of that uh, screw that you just saw and we are almost finished I'll add some thickness later on for now we'll just give it a turbo smooth with iterations of 2 with isoline display on so we, we don't see so uh, too much lines crossing over the model as you can see I'm just changing the color of the wire wireframe color of the object now we also we are going to go ahead and create those wires that are coming from that opening on the top we'll use simple line but first I have to save the work because uh, I did not save it in the beginning I'm saving it on a separate uh, folder because sometimes this Max knows how to crash unexpectedly so we'll go ahead and create the curve with the line For some reason 3ds Max doesn't show render viewport other objects except the splines from uh, in, in uh, the beginning of the menu. Now we just have to go ahead and modify this lower part a little bit. Just tweak it. Nothing complicated. Just uh, Bezier curvature that has been modified as you can see. because once it's rendered we'll have those wires showing up just like in the reference image just duplicate the same same spline same line so we can uh, just tweak it a little bit or position it and maybe add some thickness to it so far looks nice and I'll add some I'll add turbo smooth I just added turbo smooth and now we'll proceed and create an inset and in lower part so we can open up that side we'll delete that face that polygon and now extrude the edge upward With the control Z you can bring in the perspective mode if you lose the object from your from your side. So don't worry. We have a remedy for that. We'll go ahead and model this upper part a little bit. Just tighten the grip on the opening and add a uh, shell modifier as I said and with the turbo smooth on you can see the results right away so we'll add to the inner part because in that case the shell will be bigger from the reference image now we'll unhide everything and check it and see is everything okay looks nice Just go ahead and modify the bottom a little bit. Just bring it lower. Just a little bit. And as I said, later on we'll model the inner part of the bulb with the Alt key and X. You can bring in the X-ray mode, and you can see through the you can see through the object.
I just untick the turbo smooth and shelling and I will proceed with modeling of the inner part of the bulb just extrude it upward a little bit simple in modeling techniques and remember to keep everything simple when you uh, try to create a model because later on if you decide to turbo smooth a model you'll uh, have a lot of problems I'm modeling according to the reference image here we have to create that inner part and later on the wiring So just I'm going slowly. Just modifying the bottom here. Just managing the edges here and proceeding with the uh, with the uh, with the modeling. We have to pay attention to those edges so we can create that extruded element and then uh, go ahead and uh, just modify the lower part so we can proceed as you can see from the reference image here that uh, glass that center of the bulb goes all the way down to the bottom and the wires are hanged up on uh, other wires that come on that ex extruded middle part of the bulb so we'll finish this cap the end go ahead and cap it Just paused the video and came back. Now we'll hide everything and activate shell. Just add some thickness to it before we apply turbo smooth. And now as we have light turbo smooth and uh, went back to the shaded mode with Alt and X key. We are almost finished with our initial modeling. I'll add a couple of loops here so we can preserve the edge. So we can preserve the edge. And sometimes we have to refine the model. If you want to get good results. Turbo smooth one more time, and that would be pretty much it as far as for uh, modeling the bulb. We did not apply any material so far because, as I said, our last tutorials is going to be advanced one where we are going to go ahead and cover up advanced shading techniques. Now just add some thickness to the wires. I change the color to the wire color to the gray. See what we have to do here. Hiding everything now. Let's go ahead and untick the shell and the turbo smooth and select those vertices down there up on that upper part so we can uh, commence with the creation of the, the screw. I'm just checking the 
back facing because uh, you have to take ignore back facing in this case because you must face uh, you must select you, you might select the back the back parts the back vertices of the model so we have to go ahead and uh, proceed with the uh, modeling of the screw so we are just made in a uh, square plane here by modifying the vertices And we'll connect those edges and uh, the side edges also with the middle one. And then those edges will intersect from the corners. So we can create that chamfered middle edge. We'll just chamfer the middle edge and then we can proceed with the, uh, as you can see, 3ds Max just crashed. So I'm opening the scene, but I have paused the video. Now we have to do this thing one more time. Now I'll go ahead and select and connect one more time just like we did a, mo a few moments ago and then the chamfer the center vertice here and delete that polygon so this is the opening for our screw that tiny screw I'm trying to bring the, uh, the position of the hole to the correct facing angle but I don't think that we have to do that because uh, according to the reference image it looks like the opening it's not so straight so as you can see we are finished I might try to tangle a little bit the problem here, uh, the the plane, the or the. But it's okay. We'll leave it just like that. And pretty much, this is going to cover up our uh, modeling of the screw. So uh, in our second tutorial we'll go ahead and uh, finish this screw and other elements that we need to finish.